All right, welcome back to another one of our Guild Wars 1 playthroughs in Prophecies. And we are jumping back over to our Prophecies playlist. If, you're, if you've been following the Prophecies uh, playlist, then this will seem seamless. It'll be seamless. Uh, but if you're following my episodes as they come out, then you know I've been playing some Nightfall also. And I'm periodically coming back over here to Deldramore War Camp to... Uh, take apart the stone summit inside of the old Soros furnace you can see over there the entrance look at them smug in their mouth okay anyway uh this is an in a little bit intro to our video it's gonna s kind of a special episode because we're joined by a viewer uh named slash who is also uh i i talked to him before and he seemed interested in making his own content. I don't know if he started yet, but I'm going to do my best to try and uh, uh, tag him in the description. So I don't know if he's making content yet, but he's talked about, he's shown an interest in it. So he's another Guild Wars friend, a friend who I met through the amazing game of Guild Wars. Some interesting conversations too, because we don't just talk about uh, uh, like our gameplay we talk about the game as a whole so maybe you can find some stuff that you either agree with us what we're saying or maybe some stuff that you disagree and if you disagree or agree whatever you want to commentate on our uh, discussion go ahead and leave a comment down below but yeah uh, this is going to be a two-parter because we are doing the, uh, you can, I don't want, actually, I don't want to, no spoilers. You might have already seen it. I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to have to cut that spot out. Uh, we're doing two quests. We're doing the Kilroy Stonekin quest. And then we're going to do the Orazar something or other quest. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to put them out side by side uh, or not. But it was pretty fun. Anyway, um, uh, oh, yeah. Also, there is quite a bit of like uh, tactical strategy discuss discussion before we actually kick off the mission. I'm thinking about editing that out because it is quite long. But if you're interested in the, I might I might tack it off the on the end of the video actually. Uh, that might be a better idea. So anyway, if you're if you're interested in like our strategy and discussion going into this mission, uh, stick around for the last part. Um, and you can you can hear us discuss skills and stuff, but I, yeah, I think I think it's better to put that at the end of the video Anyway, without further ado uh, Stone Roy kills Kilroy Stone, Stone Roy Kilston uh, What's his name? Kilroy Stonekin uh, Quest in Stone in uh, Sorrow's Furnish. Let's go uh, Low recharge crossfire so Interesting damaging and has a 50% chance to interrupt uh, whatever she's attacking. I'm gonna buy one lockpick and just hope I get lucky. Alright, we got our eight-man team. Maybe we're lacking damage though. Think, think so? Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all gonna be, it's all gonna come down to you, me, and Acolyte Sosuke. Or the big heavy hitters, I think. And Zed, of course. Yeah, Zed's doing some good damage. But we have a, f a bunch of minions and and spirits, so yeah, yeah. let's just let's just try it out. Let's try it out. Also, it's normal mode, not hard <laughs> mode, so <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, normal mode is just if you can just tank pretty easily, you can easily get through it. All right. Wow, cry, cry of pain does all fo it affects all foes in the area. That's such a huge radius. Yeah, it's 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 an insane uh, skill. And it's like a quarter of a second casting time. So we need to go over here. Can I ping? I can't ping. We need to go that. Control. Yeah, <laughs> we need to go down that way. Take a, like this as well, I yeah, but Kilroy, Kilroy is like. Oh, yeah, you need to quest, right? Yeah. So we're gonna head. 
head over here. Yeah, the the aura of Lich is pretty nice. He's already got five minions up. Yeah, once it's off cooldown, he should have the maximum in the next. And with masochism, his his minions are level seventeen. That's crazy. He doesn't have any runes. He needs to have. I need to get some death runes on him, but they're pretty expensive. Yeah, I might have one. I always, I always hope to, um, uh, oh, you found him. I always hope to get some green item drops when I'm running Soros Furnace. Yeah, that's the only reason I do this. <laughs> green items are perfect for, uh, taking out your heroes. Yeah. Can you, can you get the quest from him too? Uh, yeah. I just did it. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I think these are repeatable, actually. Yeah, I think so too. So I think we need to go back down this way. So, uh, are you, have have you been playing Guild Wars pretty consistently for for like ever, or do you, is it a game like you take breaks and come back to it? Um, it's been pretty consistent, except for the last four years, I'd say. But yeah. now, I think a month ago, I got the urge again. Uh, yeah, I just as it, there's no game like it for me. It's I the know. combination of skills and the, the trying to find new builds is, that I really enjoy. Are you like me, where like you haven't played the game in a while, but then randomly one day you'll like a, a skill combination will pop in your head, and you're like, hmm, <laughs> I wonder how that yeah. is gonna work. It's like you haven't played the game in maybe a year or so, and then it gets you back into it. Yeah. I, I, I think a couple of years ago there was a website where you could combine skills and, and teams and it was a really nice overview and sometimes I, I spent more time on that website than actually playing the game, just theorizing, theory crafting oh. all different kinds of builds. <laughs> so you can like recruit your whole team and all their skill bars and stuff and see how, how it works? Yeah, and add, it, uh, add runes, but I don't think it uh, exists anymore. Oh. But it was really fun. Yeah, and I can't a, believe I never nice heard of it. Nice overview of the uh, eight skill bars that you could fill in. Um, where do we go? We need to stay down here, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. There it is. And also, I, I love pre-searing when I hear that music, and uh, I know. that's what always gets me back. I always start a new character in pre-searing. Yeah, if I ever make a new run of the game, it's really hard not to start in prophecies. Or Although the prophecy is, is way longer to yeah, than, uh, and I do like I do like factions. I like I like the scenery and everything of factions too. Mm -hmm. Except for the, the the area around Kining City, that's a little bit bland in my opinion. It's very like like uh, what's the word gloomy and. Yeah, depressing. And just brown buildings everywhere. There's there's no difference in scenery. Yeah. I know, especially cuz you come from you come from the uh the island that's just like mm -hmm. so colorful. And it's like, "Oh, great. You can have a chance of a green if you Oh, want. yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Flint flesh cleaver. Let me set up real quick. Yeah, you're using that like teleporting. It teleports all your. Oh, looks like Zen Mai. Yeah. Zen Mai got a little ahead of herself. Let's get rid of his enchantment there. That water trident's kind of fun build. No green. Yeah, some of the first green items I've ever seen were in uh, Sora's Furnace. Okay. 
Yeah, we're we're not even really close to wiping or in any danger at all. It looks like. Uh, I, I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only weakness will be if there's multiple elementalists together. Okay. Some AOE damage that knocks out all minions and spirits will probably be hard. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done this quest honestly. So he's getting revenge uh, on Golnar, Iron Toe, and then I think he just charges in. That's usually his uh, his method. He could kill some things before he. Whoops. Oh, before I talk to him, I should have grown up and like. Oh, uh, that would probably. We, we could have cleared some things maybe before. Oh. Uh, shouldn't matter. I gotcha. Yeah, he's just running. I didn't even notice how to cinematic. <laughs> yeah, me neither. This was the old, like, Leroy Jenkins meme. Mm -hmm. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Okay. I really like Enchanter's Conundrum versus um, Warriors. Because in, when you're using ETH, energy surge against warriors they don't have that much energy anyway so you end up doing like less and less damage as you cast it but enchanter's conundrum is always a hundred damage just aoe nuke we're under the effects of kilroy stonekin your skills recharge 50 percent faster your spells cost 50 percent less energy that's crazy doesn't last forever though uh he's kind of Entangled. Oh, yeah, yeah he's he's behind Zed. The biggest chance of us failing is him dying. <laughs> right. Whoops, I'm I'm kind of taking the damage. I need to stand in this ward. Nice. Yeah, that's the other thing. I always like I always like the wards for elementalists. I always gravitated towards Earth. Mm -hmm. I liked it as well, but the, it's, it's not great to play because the th long recharge yeah. and if your heroes run out. But real people, it's better, of course. Yeah. Who know to keep standing in the wards? <laughs> right, sometimes the, the AI makes them run out of the ward. All right, these guys. This is kind of it's kind of sad how easily we're destroying them. <laughs> these well, poor stone summit army with us. <laughs> I know. All right, this quest just appeared, or chest rather. Do we need this gearbox? Maybe. I'm gonna take it just in case. Yeah, I'll take the next one. Yeah, usually you need them to open up some doors. That's also a fun thing of uh, having someone else to play with, not running. I know. Back and forth between these gearboxes. Kill Roy Stone King. There he goes. He's gonna die. Yeah, some um, running spell, running skills would have been useful actually. Keep up with them, or at least get ahead of them. A good one to give your minion master. Right, some uh, mix in some paragon with him or something. Yeah. It heals the minions while walking. Oh, well. right, that's that, yeah. Incoming or. I forgot yeah, Incoming the other is one. on the lead, so oh, that's you the don't elite. have okay. uh, But there's a fallback one, which is basically the same one. That's it, fallback. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. It just has a longer cooldown. I need to work in some paragon to my. Uh, Henchmen for sure, or my heroes. We need to go this up. Is the part where I there. died in hard mode. Oh no. Are there gonna be some enemies that come in or something? Oh, it's I got heavy, heavy AOE damage. Yeah, they got enchantments. I think I'm dead. Heal, heal, heal! Oh. Yeah, I aggro too hard. Ever 
<laughs> skill because mine don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, Don Coro, he's he cannot die. Okay. <laughs> he's our only reser. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about didn't that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> He got a max damage purple bow that dropped up here. I don't know if you want it. Oh, okay. It's a dead bow. But it's required Roy's 12. Going so. off. Oh, is he? Oh my gosh. This is where we needed the running skill. <laughs> oh, he's just gone. He went uh, to the left here. Yeah. If he attacks something not gonna make it. <laughs> no way. And then he's just buffing himself with running speed, so he's just plowing ahead. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> no. Did you get the bow at least? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I got it. Uh, okay, he's waiting for us up here. Why am I so slow? Is it the gear? Yeah, I dropped the gear because I was worried. Oh, that's so good. He's waiting. Here, I'm going to wait for you then. Okay. Ah, oh, they nuke so hard. Ooh, a fell blade. Not max damage though. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Yeah, fell blade is one of my favorites. Same with this uh flamber That was a good one too. I still like the old uh regular dragon fire or what's Oh fire man, the fire sword. dragon sword. It's still amazing. Just I just remember like the nostalgia of wanting one so badly. I always think about it when I see on. I, uh, I think on my first warrior, I had one that had really bad stats, but I just... You used it anyway, used it right? Because it was a fiery dragon sword. <laughs> well, well, I remember people would sell it to noobs because they would see it and want it, and you, it would be like, yeah, not, not even close to max damage, super high requirements, but they'd sell it for all of their money. <laughs> just so overpriced. I remember buying... Uh, a lightning bowstring. Oh yeah. Insane money because I thought it would be like the, the thunder bow or what's it called? Or the, the storm bow. Storm bow from Diablo. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, storm bow. Uh oh, I remember okay, that Sen one. Okay. Senmai is using it. Senmai, so yeah, that one. Buying the lightning <laughs> bowstring would transform Change the my skin. bow into that. It makes sense, right? So I got uh, ripped off. I'm sure the person <laughs> selling it to you didn't help uh, dissuade you from that. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, this is this is overpowered. And the chaos axe is probably. I I never owned a chaos axe. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I didn't get is a chaos axe. He I think I got runs... a drop once, but with really bad stats. He's just running straight into him. So I'm trying to keep up with him. I'm probably gonna die. All right, we're good. We're good. I wanted to play it a little bit more carefully, but he he didn't care at all. I think that's the whole point of the quest. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we have, yeah minion master is definitely the way to go here. Yeah, body blocking is. Uh... There's a chest here if you wanna use your luck. Miner's chest, right? Oh, I broke it. Dang it. Got a max earth um, wand out of it though. I have the unlucky title, so I'll probably break it. Nope, got it. Ooh, you got a... What'd you get out of that? kit just ran out so I'm, I don't know. Here, use this one. Where are you at? Where? Oh, yeah. 
Luckily he's waiting for us. Strength. Strength? Superior strength? Where did you get that? Do warriors even run superior runes? I never... I never wanted to lose the HP as a warrior. I think strength or maybe swordsmanship or something. Yeah. Alright, one quest down. You want to do the other one? Yeah, sure. So we should go back to Deljamore, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna change some things. Uh, of the heroes. Oh, <laughs> all the minions are attacking Kilroy now. Uh, I'm gonna start the recording now. Uh, but... <clears throat> Yeah, clear your I voice. Can, <laughs> do, you, do you want me to? Uh, yeah, well, I can be ranger, monk, uh, assassin. I have as well here. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever you want to run. If you want to run ranger, that's fine. I was thinking we could each run three heroes, kind of like mm -hmm. the old days where you're only limited to just three heroes. You know. Mm -hmm. So I can run maybe my Dunkoro is not bad. Mine are, yeah, mine, my heroes are not going to be as decked out as yours, probably. Um, well, if you want to stick to the more old ways, I won't run the, the Mesmer way. Oh, okay. Because uh, the Mesmer it's, way is kind of <laughs> easy, so, <it's> so <laughs> if you want a bit of a challenge. <laughs> these, these three I'm running are kind of my favorite heroes right now. Uh, they're not super optimal builds. Just kind of ones that I thought were fun. But I think they'll all be pretty effective here. Elias, I might change away from Flesh Golem. I, I might put um, uh, something else on him. Or of the Lich? Oh, that's Maybe. a good... Oh, right, because the 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 dwarves here use that, don't they? They, they have uh, minions here. That would be good, because then it takes control of them, doesn't it? Uh, oh, I think another one. Oh, that's a different one, isn't it? It should be okay. That's a good one, though. Nice. Good call, good call. If you wanted steel minions, I think it's called Varata's Sects or Varata's Aura. Oh, yeah. Varata something. I don't think I have that one. Interesting. It's Varata's Aura, yeah. And then you steal all minions in the area. Is that a um, soul? It must be death magic, right? Yeah, it's that much. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna put this masochism spell on so, him too. We're gonna have a minion master. Is there any reason to run uh like bone a, another minion summoning spell besides Aura of the Lich, or is that by itself is that good enough? Well, Aura of the Lich uses every corpse in the area, so exactly, uh, yeah. But it's a 45 second cooldown. That's true. Hmm. You Let's... can combine it with um, the ranged minions. Ah, uh, okay. The uh, fiend. 25 energy cost. The bone fiends. And yeah. I can run one with blood is power, so our heroes won't run out of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A blood is power uh, necromancer would be good. And then... It's also a healer. So. Yeah, that, I, I know that one. That's a really good build. Where is it? Bone Fiend. There we go. So your Dunker is also healing. Then we have two healers. That's enough, I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, yeah, with just your Necromancer? Yeah, I think so. That should be enough healing, right? My Zed um, build is also pretty, like, supporty. It's got some healing and debuffs and, and uh, ward and stuff. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I have a similar type of build. Let me check if I can name it. Uh... So you got two slots left. I've got this one as a he uh, an elementalist support build. Uh, some gems. I like the uh, the gloves that you're wearing. Are those uh, which which one? Those are collectors' gloves, aren't they? Uh, 
those are the the, the Deldramore dragon something? gauntlets. Oh, the dragon gauntlets. Okay. From oh. The, uh, central transfer chain, right? Right, right, right. Oh, that's very similar. Mist form. That's a good one. Whenever you cast an element, just all nearby enemies are healed. Oh, so it's like a, this is really a healing a healing uh, build. Yeah, but also it does a lot of damage with uh, Obsidian Flame and Aftershock. Aftershock, and yeah. If, if uh, with Whirlwind you can knock down everything, so Aftershock deals even more damage. You're right, right. That's pretty cool. And then since you're overcast, you get the, the block chance on your entire party from Magnetic, magnetic Aura. aura. And Dang. the healing from Swirling Aura. It's, it's pretty That's good. pretty sick, yeah. And uh, Obsidian Flame is pretty decent damage. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm not going to run this since your Zed is also uh, running support. Um, What do you want me to do? Ranger yeah, what are we missing? Signet of Spirits? or? Yeah, we could go... We could go... F uh, Signet of Spirits. You could go a, a, a Warrior or Dervish or something. But what are you doing? Are you going s just like a range? What are you doing? I can. I can also do Signet of Spirits if you want. Oh, on your Ranger? Yeah. What? Okay. That's pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, with uh, How enough you... expertise, you can you can keep spamming the, the Spirits because they cost zero energy. Whoa! I never knew that. That's crazy. Yeah, do that. That sounds fun. <laughs> and then it's uh, also a little bit overpowered, though. But is it's it? Fine. Is it over? Yeah, I kind of want to see it, though. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna have to change my gear to the energy. And then as a last hero, oh no, you still got two hero slots, don't you? Yeah. I okay. Do... What are you running? I'm running um, this Enchanter's Conundrum still. I really like it. I, I thought about changing up to some Fragility, but I don't think we do much conditions, so. At the moment, no. Uh... Okay, so it's kind of AOE damage with the conundrum. Yeah, I'm doing. It's I, honestly, I think Enchanter's conundrum is pretty on par with Energy Surge. It does some crazy damage. You can you can also add in um, what's it called? Is it Cry of Pain? I think. Yeah, I'm just not. The, oh, Cry of Frustration. The interrupt one. No, the the sun spear skill. I think it's. Oh, you're right. You're, I always forget about that. Since those. you're hexing, it does amazing AOE damage as well. Oh, that might be better than running like whoops, running um. What would I replace it with? Maybe instead of energy burn, that might be better. Or wastrels. Or instead of wastrels, okay. Since a lot of enemies keep using skills, and wastrels gets. That's true. It's it kind of hard to prop. Surely. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to activate that. Yeah, this is a little better. Then um, I want to use uh... mm. ritualist or an elementalist. What's your so... elementalist running? Just nukes. Yeah, we, I think we need a, a heavy hitter as well. True. 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 I think maybe fire would be. Yep. Fire would be good here. Oh, you got the uh, you got the uh, mercenaries. Yeah, I needed some more mesmers. <laughs> nice. Yep, I have those. I've got some mercenaries for that. I've never actually pulled off the full eight man mesmer team, but I've I've always wanted to do it. I now got four mesmers and four necros, so that's, that's <laughs> pretty imbalanced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so last guy. Okay. 
we're honestly probably going to sweep through this. Yeah, probably. Probably do searing flames. That's like, yeah, the, the most powerful fire one. Yeah, and it's only a two second cooldown, so. Seriously. All the rest is energy steel, so it can keep getting maintained. Wow, yeah. Ether signet. I don't have. I don't have that one. Wow, that's a lot of energy gain. So he pretty much does all damage just from Searing Flames. Yeah, it's a two second cooldown, so... But 15 <laughs> energy, so it's hard to maintain, but yeah. this build it should be manageable. So basically, they're always on fire. That would be good with, uh, like, a Paragon. They're all on, they're on fire, or whatever that skill does. The damage reduction. Let me check if I have that one. It's just, uh... Uh, forgot what that was. So, so, is it leadership or motivation or something? It's not an elite. I don't think I have it unlocked. Whoa, really? That was like always my favorite Paragon build when I when I first started when I first I, ran a Paragon. I never really. Played Paragon. I uh -huh. didn't really like the class. Yeah, I think I think both uh, Paragon and Dervish uh, had some haters. I wasn't a big fan of the Dervish. I, I really like the Dervish, but Paragon, the fact that they only had like two energy regen really bothered me. Yeah, they have a lot of energy, uh, high energy mm -hmm. skill, so it's it's it felt slow to me. For sure, you're like waiting for your energy to come up all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, you could go another ranger or something like an actual ranger, or I mean, not that you're not not that you're not an actual ranger. <laughs> 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I can run um... assassin. Okay, that's that's, a, that's some good damage. It is a ranger, but I'm using. I'm gonna get some lock picks actually too. So it's it's an interrupt ranger. Oh, okay, that's a good one. So it's it's running this. Uh, assassin's prom. Oh, so she's using, is she using the anniversary bow or what? No, no, just a bow I have. Just a regular bow? Okay. That's pretty sweet. So, it's basically 50%. She has a chance to crit. And with uh, Disrupting Accuracy, crits interrupt. Then a bunch of interrupt skills and an 